Bill, Bills, what's the deal, man? I just dropped my baby off at the daycare. I'm heading to the plantation, man. We got hit with some bullshit last night. Just bullshit snow. Hopefully the weather. We're supposed to get back into the 50s by the end of the week and all this shit will be melting, man. It's too late in the motherfucking March. Let's be getting hit with all this snow. Man, I ain't too thrilled about this, man. But keep game, man. I wanted to talk about, I, I didn't get to watch it as it was happening. I was, I, man, I was um, I was out on Saturday night, man, so I couldn't see Chocolatito versus Julio Cesar Martinez. I couldn't see that fight live, man. First off, man, I want to say shout out to Mar to, uh, to, 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 to Martinez, man. Um, for him to move up and wait and not get stopped, let alone dropped, and take some big shots and keep on coming, man. He was dropping his guard. You know, he was really, you know, he had this real type, you know, braggadocious type demeanor to him, even while he was eating those big shots. It was like, all right, yeah, like, keep on coming. And it's like, he would get stumbled, he would get stunned, and you would see it in his body language that, you know, his, you know, his legs are locked up, and he'll be dazed for a minute, and Chocolatito will seem to be going in for the kill, and he'll come back and let him know, nah, I ain't going nowhere. I'm finishing this fight on my feet, man, so salute to him, man. Like, that was, that was a really good fight, man. It was like a million punches thrown. Oh my God, man, I just, you know, hell of a fight, man. That shit was dope. That shit was dope. I loved it, man. But, um, Chocolatito, man, um, this dude is the truth, man. Uh, I think, uh, very underappreciated footwork, man. Well, I've always noticed that about him, man. His ability to cut off the ring and close distance. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know if it's because, you know, these are, you know, smaller dudes that they can't get out of range faster and stay out of range. But even then, it's like, I, I remember seeing Chocolatito mid-ring and a dude is straddling the ropes and he's beautifully cutting off the ring. I've I, I seen that, man. His defense is not even, we'll get to his defense, but his footwork, I think, is really underappreciated, man, and really underrated, dude. This dude is a, this dude has incredibly intelligent feet. Um, I was watching him last night. He didn't even really start to, you know, utilize his feet until around about the mid-rounds, man. That's when you started really seeing him uh, uh, um, spin him. He started spinning him, man. He, you know what I'm saying? He would, you know what I'm saying, roll up under a hook, spin around, and be completely on the opposite side of Martinez, man. You just see really, really, really superior footwork in there from him, man. Just... Everything about the dude, he was just on point, man. Just in the pocket, man. Nothing is getting through. The tight guard is there. I mean, some shots got through. Some big shots got through. But I think it was more, you know, he got to a point where he was, you know, I don't want to say allowing him to happen. But, you know, he got hit with some big, he got hit with some pretty big shots. And he didn't fold with nothing like that, man. But for the most part, a lot of the shots was getting, you know, they were glancing shots. Yeah, you know, he had that tight, you know, that tight. That high, you know, tight, high peak of the guard, man. He's, you know, glancing shots. He's rolling the shots. He's getting up under the shots. It was really a tight guard, main Pacquiao style tight guard. And um, I'm just like, yo, this dude has really good defense, man. You know, he's catching the shots. He's shooting back off of the shots. He's um, he's getting around the straight shots. He's getting under the, you know, the um, the, the 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 round shots. He's, I'm just like, yo, man, this dude is incredible, man. Um, and what really got me was, his, you know, his punch placement and punch selection, man. I mean, I, me I remember seeing him in the later rounds land this short hook that I'm surprised didn't knock dude out. He landed a really short hook on the inside that homeboy never even seen. Why, I, how do I know he didn't even see it? Because I didn't even see him throw it. And his back was facing us. His back was facing the camera. And he threw this real short counter, uh, uh, counter lead left hook. I was like, God damn. Just everything about the dude was just just on point, man. Just you know, he was all you know. He started as the fight started to progress. He started cut. He was off the line. He was never really on, like he wasn't on the line unless he was at um unless he was in the pocket with you, man. He was out. You know, he was just right at that. You know, right off to the side at that look at that slight angle. And I think that was somewhat hindering Martinez, man. Because Martinez, I know for a fact, is a, he's a switch hitter. He switches a lot. He didn't do too much switching because I just think it was just too much for him to um. 
what he was in front of was just a little bit too much, man. Uh, going, uh, 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 Chocolatito was just on his ass, man. Um, a million punches thrown, man. It was a really entertaining fight, man. It was a really entertaining fight. But I was just really, you know, tweaked at the master class that, you know, Chocolatito put on, man. Just getting up under the shots and just the footwork and the punch placement, man. And just, you know, countering in the pocket, just real effect. He's never really out of range. Even when his, his aggression was really, all, you know, unsettling to Martinez, man. It was really unsettling, man. He's just walking him down. And Martinez is going to work. He'll land, you know, he'll throw, you know, 10 punches or whatever, man. And Gonzalez is just walking him down. And a lot of those shots, like I said, are glancing blows. Nothing is getting through and landing clean, but he's coming back. And when he land, when he throw, I think, man, his connect percentage at a point in time, like in the mid-rounds, was like 47%. That's an incredible connect percentage, man. And just, you know, he, he, was, he was winning rounds that he was less active in. I only really get. I think I only gave Martinez the third, the fifth round. It was a pretty easy fight to score, but I think I, I recall him giving him the fifth round because I did. I think he landed some big shots in that round that was like, oh okay. And then you know, Lomachenko, his activity dropped off. You know, okay, you got that round, and he came right back out and went back to work. But he was winning rounds that you know Martinez would be active in those rounds, and he would just be walking him down. And you seen, you know, you seen the uh, um, the difference in power between the two of them, man. Every time um, Chocolatito went on the offensive, Martinez was taking a step back. And he would start, you know, he was he was being backed up. He was kind of being deboed in there, man. You know, uh, Chocolatito was really poised in the pocket when he was taking the one, you know, when he was getting hit. Just like yo, competent defense, man. Even with um um. He would tap the body and he was expecting the counter uppercut. He was expecting it. So he's out of range. You know, he's you know, he's um he's agile enough to land the shot and be out of range before the counter comes. And he did that often, man. And because of that, you did uh, Martinez stopped throwing that uppercut and he started, you know, he was really getting hurt to the body. Mm, Chocolatito is just I I'm watching this dude. I'm like, yo, this dude is incredible, man. And that's you know for I get I keep I'm really getting irritated with oh man he's 34 he's 34 34 is I mean when he, they do the same thing with Lomachenko oh he's 33 he old it's like honestly he's in his you know you're coming up at the end of your prime around about them ages they're coming up in your you're coming up to the end of your prime it's, when you look at Lomachenko with Lomachenko that's the best that I've ever seen Lomachenko in his last two fights that's the best that I've ever seen him aggressive but calculative okay, so when you you got Manny Pacquiao fought you know his last you know his last great fight with Keith Thurman was at 40 man Floyd was fighting into his late 30s B-hop you have a you know a plethora of fighters who go deep into you know deep 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 into uh, into their you know boxing careers at an accelerated age and they're actually still having success in boxing because they're the smarts or whatever man they, you know they're they're highly intelligent man they know how to get to their spots they know how to play shots perfectly so they don't exert you know a certain amount of energy it was it was it was dope man it was it's, it's dope man so when I'm looking at Chocolatito and I'm listening to the uh, the announcers oh he's 34 I'm like yeah, what does that mean he's 34 he's not old. He's not old. Tom Brady, 40. He's 40. Playing quarter. He's a quarterback. Well, I think he's retiring now, but he was playing a quarter. He's a quarterback. They take the most punishment. The fuck is niggas talking about? He's 34. No, bro. It's not, you know, it's not so much your age as it, as it is attrition. Not everybody, everybody doesn't decay at, a, at the same rate. Everybody doesn't decay at the same rate. We don't know how Golovkin is going to look in his next fight against Ryota Murata. We don't know. We don't have a clue. So when I'm looking at Roman Gonzalez at 34 years old, I'm like, yo. What I'm seeing from this dude is it was just incredible, man. Just really, the, you know, the footwork, man. The footwork really caught me. The defense, man. Just usually I would, um, I would feel some type of way about people who kind of like... Um, 
they extend their arms a little bit more to deflect the trajectory of a shot instead of keeping your guard tight but if you get you know if you, if you if your reflexes are fast enough to where you can do that and get back into defensive position kudos to you and with him i mean it just happens as you know as the fight wears on you did you just it's just instinct sometimes you know you'll you know you'll you'll extend your arm a little bit more to defend yourself you just you'll just do it but you'll get right back oh shit that wasn't good if they catch if they if they catch on to me doing that it's, it's gonna be problematic man but he did it a few times but it, it, it you know it wasn't so much to the point where it's like yo bro you gotta tighten that guard up because he's catching all these shots that are getting thrown at him he's catching the body shots he's catching the you know he's you know he's he's catching the shots up top on the glove you clearly see the glancing blows on the glove you can you can clearly see that He's getting around. He's you know he's getting the he's getting to the side of the straights and he's getting up under the the, the rounds, man. It was just really an impeccable, an impeccable uh, display of boxing, man. And another thing I want to say, he's been knocked out, and he uh, uh, did did Rung V side knock him out twice. I know he beat him twice, but I know one time he knocked him out. I know one time he knocked him out. And what I got to say to that is, look at how he still received. And look at the level that he's still competing at. Oh, damn, my watch flew up. This is what I'm saying when, I mean, when I'm like, yo, bro, like, it's, 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 a, it's the sport. I, I'm never going to denigrate somebody for getting knocked out in a sport where people have 50 plus, 50 plus percent knockout percentages, dog. It happens. These are some of the fight. These outside of these fighters right here that you're facing off with, and maybe and fighters in the higher divisions or whatever. Those are about the only. Those are the majority. Some of the majority of the people on earth that's going to be able to deal with you. So you step outside of these rankings. You step outside of the. You know what I'm saying? These divisions. Your average dude on the street is not going to be able to fuck with you. So I don't trip off of knockouts. That comes with the sport. And he still is being received very well after being knocked out. It's nothing. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. You can, you can, you can learn from it. That shit never bothers me. It never bothered me. It bothers me in the time if I'm rooting for you. But it's like, hey, you know, that's how it goes. That's how the story goes. So I don't put too much into it. But this dude looked incredible last night, and for them, and they also were talking about him moving up to fight anyway. Yikes! Yikes! Did y'all imagine the monster and Chocolatito fighting? That's going. That would be incredible, man. That would be dope. That would be dope, man. That oh man. I don't know if he should. I'm not too sure about that. I'm not too sure about that, man, because, you know, I mean, from V-Side knocked you out, I don't know, but still, man, go for it. Go for it. I got to go back and watch those fights. I Actually, I've never even seen them. I'm talking about go back and watch them. I've never seen those fights. So I would like to, I haven't even had an opportunity to unpack what was happening during the fight. Like, <clears throat> I don't know if he was winning the fight when it was, you know what I'm saying, or when it, before he got knocked out, because that happens. That happens. Look at you know, uh, 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 Pavekin and Dillian White. It, you know, it happens. It happens. So I want to go back and watch that fight, the both of them, man, and see and really get a, uh, um, really get an understanding of, how, of what happened, more of an understanding of what happened in that fight instead of just saying, oh, well, he got knocked out because shit could happen. Shit happens, man. So, but yeah, I, I would love to see him and uh, Chocolatito in a monster in a way. I think that would be dope. I think that would be dope if he moved up, man. But off of what I saw last night, I don't want to hear shit else about that. Oh, he's 34 because you would have seen his age if, you know, you would have seen attrition if, you know, his age was affecting him that much. I saw no signs of attrition. I saw a competent boxer. I saw a master class boxer. I saw, you know, beautiful footwork i saw you know incredible defense and i just saw precise uh, punch placement man and
counter punching. The man, the punch selection. Man. I, I'm still super tripping off of that short left hook he threw on the inside. And that shit didn't knock him out. I was like, yo, he didn't even see that shot coming. Like I had to like, did he? I just seen it, uh, uh, Martinez. I just seen his head jolt. I'm like, did he throw a hook? Did he throw something? And the here go the oh man, beautiful short left hook. I'm like, yo, this dude is incredible, man. So. Shout out to Chocolatito, man. That dude is very much so underrated and underappreciated, even amongst boxing heads, man. I don't, I don't want when people when people say footwork. Everybody, I know everybody was real high on Bam Rodriguez. I didn't see that fight neither, but I saw the um. Well, I don't know if it was a knockout, but just how you know he slipped the uppercut or he slipped the shot, and you know pivoted out and end up. Once again, on the complete opposite side of the dude, to the point where the dude had to re, you know, reset and completely turn his whole body around, and he got punished for it. That was incredible. But what I saw, just the footwork that I saw from Chocolatito, and that I've been seeing for years, I'm like, yo, this dude is not getting spoken on enough. This dude is not getting spoken on enough for his footwork, man. And what up man shout out to roman gonzalez man i'll i'll make sure i went back and i watched that fight i gotta go back and watch um the jose's fight pedraza and um ramirez mexico versus puerto rico war i i, I, I gotta go back and watch that i missed that i was not too thrilled to miss that but it, i you know i had to go to bed last night so i, yeah, I couldn't i couldn't watch it but I'll be look. I'll most def. I'm gonna try and watch that shit today. Actually, fuck it. I think I'm gonna try and watch it today. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Martinez. Dude is a warrior, man. He, you know, he never folded. I loved it. That was a damn good fight. A great fight, man. So, that's how I'm feeling about it, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Doses.